The render pipeline of V3 has reached its limits. We couldn't go any further, but we wanted to make sure that we utilize the full potential of the GPU. And uh, V4 is making sure that this is happening. It was not only the market that uh, demanded more photorealism, but it was also our own drive behind making the most of the GPUs that are installed in our systems and introduce new features into the render pipeline that we could not do before. So if we talk about the key features in WIS4, uh, global illumination obviously is a big topic and we are handling this by employing Enlighten for that. And then we added a number of features like uh, cinematic depth of field. We have bloom effects in there. We have uh, refraction, uh, screen space reflections. We have omnidirectional shadows. We have eight lights of each type. We have uh, directional lights, we have aerial lights. We have uh, point lights, which are equivalent to a light bulb, and we have spotlights, which are what the name says. WIS4 is not only about the new render pipeline, it's also about the ecosystem that hosts those render pipelines. We put a lot of effort into making it even more dynamic than WIS3 was, with a huge focus on IP. We know what IP will bring to the industry, and we are building on that. Workflow has always been extremely important to us and we're trying to keep that focus also with WIS4. So the workflow of creating a scene in Maya, Cinema 4D and so on, importing it into WIS and then decorating it in WIS uh, is something that we will keep and we will keep going. When we talk about the keyer, um, we revisited the concept that we had and we not only changed the way on how we calculate maps but also how many maps we calculate and in which order they uh, will be applied to the final results. And it all starts off with a completely rewritten denoiser that makes sure that the noise introduced by the camera on homogeneous surfaces gets reduced while we still keep the fine detail where it is needed. We want to keep uh, an open system and therefore we will also allow for uh, an Unreal integration to work in parallel with 3 and 4. What it brings to the table is the, a vast community of uh, developers and designers that work in an Unreal 4 infrastructure. It also brings to the table the uh, possibilities of uh, utilizing physics and AI inside the gaming engine. The flexibility in configuration plus the flexibility that the new licensing system brings will allow you to run any sort of this engine in your data centers, whether it acts as a clip layer, as a graphics provider, as a compositing engine, or as a switcher replacement, doesn't really matter. It's all up to you and how you want to make it to use.